Good jolly evening to you everyone and welcome to another video. Now let me just tell you that today I am about as excited for Subnautica as one could potentially be because I have the privilege and the opportunity to show you what I believe to be most likely the most ambitious mod ever made for Subnautica. So let's just jump right into it but first um, Bacon, why exactly are we looking at your desktop, you might ask? And that's a wonderful question. Well, as it so happens, this mod is so special that the developer told me that even the loading screen is something else to look out for. So here we are, about to do a fresh launch. Let's jump into it. Well, that's promising. Okay, that was 100% my fault, not of the mod, okay? I just messed something up with the files. Uh, try number two. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? Welcome to Subnautica, Return of the Ancients. You know it's gonna be good when the mod has a freaking custom menu screen. I would say let's just start a new game and see what we can find. Ooh, we get the uh, we get a little spoiler here on the loading screen. I mean, I'm not gonna spoil everything, but I purposefully am going into this about as blind as can be. I haven't watched any of the other creators' videos on this, and one of the mod authors I talked to was kind enough not to spoil anything for me. Alright, so here we are in the beautiful world of 4546B, and my water is looking a little funky for some reason, but don't worry about that too much, because we have a world of new possibilities to explore. Alright, so first things first, I'm specifically here in creative to show you some of the new things that you are able to build with this mod. The general idea here is that the devs are trying to create and bring back a lot of what was either promised for Subnautica but never delivered because of budget, or stuff that might have been left over by the precursor race and other creatures. So initially, you might notice that there is a lot of new things you can now build, such as the Sonic Deterrent. You know, annoyed with those pesky leviathans? Well, no need to be anymore. What else have we got here? Alien door? Wait, seriously? Alright, well, I have an alien door. Never knew I wanted one until now, but there it is, and I'm super happy I got it now. An alien column structure. Well, I mean, yeah, the, the product came exactly as delivered. 10 out of 10 on Amazon. You can even have an alien fabricator? What on the 4546B? I, I, I gotta try this. Where can I build this? My goodness, look at this. Okay, there is a lot of stuff here, some of which... I won't be going into because obviously this stuff is still in development, but just know that yes, you will be able to craft a whole nother fabricator and with that, a ton of new equipment. You might have also noticed that there were a few new materials that you could see in that crafting menu, and yes, all of those do naturally spawn in the game and can actually be found. Like this one, what? Morganite? Uh, sure, yeah, absolutely, I'll take it. Man, I'm gonna be able to trade this for so much with the villagers. Okay, now, I've been told that everything is pretty much vanilla, well, with a few exceptions, up until the point that the Aurora explodes, so why don't we have ourselves a little ship barbecue? Hey, Bacon from the future here, just gonna butt in real quick because there is an amazing opportunity for you guys right now if you scroll down into the description. There is a link to a Discord server created by the creators of this mod, where you can actually talk directly to them as well as other people in the community. Me and a bunch of other creators are in there as well, so if this is something that you want, maybe pitch them your ideas or maybe talk about the mod with the authors themselves, make sure to jump into the link in the description. Several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Uh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Did I just hear that? Okay, I'm not crazy, right? Y'all heard that as well? Because that is freaking terrifying. Yeah, okay, it's safe to say that freaked me the heck out. Good lord, I know there is a reaper over there, and yet somehow that's the least terrifying thing ever right now. Alright, well, you know how it goes. Whenever you're confused about what to do next in Subnautica, just go deeper, and so that's exactly what I'm doing. I've been told that there is some very exciting stuff to see in the Lost River, so why don't we go check that out? You know, mere mortals say that that shouldn't be possible, but creative mode players would tend to disagree. Oh, would you look at that? 
What incarnation are you? Chill out, Mr. Ghost. I want to see what all this is about. An iron cube, of course. Uplink coordinates. Ooh, I'm getting a bunch of signals. Okay, that's very exciting. Whoa, okay. Contain singularity. Uh, alrighty then. Okay, now, you know when I see that, it really makes me want to touch. Guys, come on. Should, should I do it? I, ha I haven't been specifically told not to. Okay, hold on. No. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Wow, well done, devs. That's lovely. Ah, good, <laughs> good stuff. Look at that. There is another one of those things over here. That's very curious. Why would it be here? Now, just so you guys know, obviously this mod is a work in progress, and a ton of stuff has actually been removed from this version because it is being worked on. I would say the huge chunks of content when it comes to the precursors have been removed, and that's because this mod not only wants to introduce those things, but also introduce substantial lore when it comes to those things, which I cannot commend these guys enough. That effort is absolutely crazy. Now, of course, it wouldn't truly be a return of the ancient ones if I didn't go look for the ancient one. You and I both exactly know what I mean. It's the one, the only, a gargantuan leviathan. So let's jump over the edge here and see what we can find. Oh boy. I believe we might have just spotted it. Ladies and gentlemen, that horrific nightmare is the Gargantuan Leviathan. Look at... Mm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless. I mean, this doesn't happen a whole lot. No, 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 no. Okay, that's probably not very good. No! Oh, there goes my Seamoth. Oh my god. Oh, look at this thing go. Like, even with the fog command, I can barely get the whole body of this thing in one frame. I, like, as in, I literally can't. It's too big. Look at that poor ghost. Like, what is it gonna do? But did it just eat the ghost? Oh dear. Dear lord, this thing is imposing. Alright, so just for a little bit of size comparison here, this is the Aurora in its unexploded entirety, and this right here is the adult gargantuan leviathan just wrapping around it like it's nobody's business. I mean, look at this thing, you could probably, if it tried, you could probably like squish the Aurora. Oh, and look at this, by the way. If you didn't think that the um, front of the Aurora was spooky enough with, you know, this tiny Reaper down here, they also have the Juvenile Gargantuan here. Oh, look at this thing. Even the Juvenile is so freaking terrible. Look at it go. Look at it go for the Reaper. Man, that the Reaper must be so terrified. It's just T-posing. It's trying to T-pose to assert dominance, but it's clearly not working. Oh my goodness, and there it goes. That Reaper just got decimated. Well guys, the bonus of this is no more Reapers, you know, I I near the Aurora. The drawback is that you get these things now. My goodness, those sounds are crazy. Ah, the animation is absolutely amazing though. Incredible job on that. Every time I jump into the water now, I just keep expecting to see that humongous thing. Alright. Coming on board. There we go. Oh boy, here we go. Even though I'm in this big submarine, this still makes me so uncomfortable. Uh, oh. Hi, friend. Oh, you are definitely clipping through me. Hi. I'm not unfriendly or anything. See, I, I, I can sound the horn. I'm a, I'm a friend. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, oh boy. Mm, Some tells me that that thing does not have friendly intentions with me. But I'm not gonna judge you. They always say don't judge a book by its cover. Even though this is a very big book, 
with a terrifying cover that will most definitely murder me. I mean, just so you have an idea, that's the gargantuan, and this is my teeny cyclops, just like shining into one of its eyes. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that's, that's pretty small, I gotta say. It looks like the sea moth compared to, I don't know, even the sea dragon compared to the sea moth is not this big of a difference. Okay, so here's a little, here's a little sea dragon, just for comparison, even with a tiny ghost down there. And, um, it, it just looks like a kindergarten for leviathans, like, it's one child, it's the other child, and there's the teacher. I mean, this thing is imposing, don't get me wrong. But that thing is just the stuff of nightmares, so I guess incredibly well done, developers. Absolutely insane. But anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I just have to say, I am incredibly excited to see where this mod goes next, because from what I understand, they're planning to make it into essentially a full-blown DLC that is on the level of official content from Subnautica, which is just absolutely insane and well-deserving of all the recognition it's getting. But anyways, with that, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video, and if you did, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing, all those would be very much appreciated. If you want to talk to me more, consider following me on Twitter at the latest bacon or jumping into the Discord. Both links are down in the description. And with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.